Hey guys, I'm RNG Gamer. I play all my games randomly. And I just bought somebody's video game collection, Sight Unseen, and we're gonna go through it together. All right, guys, I just got home and I just bought a collection off a guy. <laughs> so let's go check it out. I don't know what it is, I haven't seen it yet. But this is what it looks like out here. There's like five boxes there and another box jammed in there. So let me clear off this table so we can actually have room to do something. I paid 300 bucks for it. Was it a good deal? I don't know. <laughs> so last night I was at my brother-in-law's house for a social gathering he was having. And while I was sitting there, I met one of his childhood friends. We started talking about video games and he mentioned that he had kind of like dabbled in game collecting and he had bought a bunch of stuff but like he didn't even really open a lot of the packages that he ordered he just kind of like stuffed them in a corner and they were sitting at his parents house and they needed to declutter and he asked me if i was interested and i said of course i asked him how much he wanted he told me 300 dollars. i didn't haggle all I saw was just like what I could see by looking down into the boxes. I haven't dug through any of this really in depth. Let's see what we got. Here's the first box. Okay, first thing up is a NES Classic Edition. It is an empty box. It looks like, yeah, here it is. Here's the NES Classic that goes with it. And I'm sure the controllers are here somewhere. <laughs> a Super Nintendo Classic, a SNES Classic. That's pretty cool, same thing. Maybe it'll work, I don't know. Can you mod these? Have you figured out how to mod these yet? Probably, right? We can mod everything. Paperwork for the SNES Mini. I guess these are like the pack-ins for the NES Classic. I don't know though, the paperwork. Controller for the SNES Classic. Controller for the NES Classic. I don't know what these are. These are like generic controllers for the NES Classics. They have like a longer cable on them or something. So maybe that's why they're there. And there's two of those. Here we have one of those like at game Sega Genesis consoles that you can get at like Walgreens Pharmacy. <laughs> I know this will take cartridges. I think this has some games preloaded in it. And here's the controller for it. I know these are not great, but who knows? Is there anything like cool I can do with this? Let me know. Some plugs and HDMI cables for the Nintendo Mint Classic controller or console. Another SNES Classic controller. What is this? It says my arcade i don't know what this is is this like a like loaded with a bunch of roms or something what is this and it has some like little controllers for it what is it <laughs> i don't know what this is and if you're liking the content thus far consider subscribing to the channel hit the bell notification so you get notified when the new videos come out they come out every single saturday also, give me a like and leave a comment below. I answer every comment and the likes really help with the YouTube algorithm and I'd appreciate it. This I did see in there and I don't have one. This is the Nintendo Power Pad. I have a bunch of Nintendo Power Pad games or at least a couple, maybe a couple. I never had a Power Pad. I had one when I was a kid and my pet rabbit got loose and like ate part of it. So anyway, I'm glad to have another one of these for sure. Another one, the, the only one I have now. Holy crap. You will not believe what was under that power pad. This is the last thing I expected to ever see in here. <laughs> but first up, NES zapper. Second NES zapper. <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say about this. It's a canteen that has the Pitfall logo on it. And then it has like pitfall on the back of it it says it's from like 2017 i don't know this is just like a collector's item i guess it's kind of cool i like the vibrancy of it for sure mario bros duck hunt world class track meet i guess this one with the power pad athletic world this also went with the power pad it has a little bit of damage down here on it you guys think there's a stadium events in here <laughs> i doubt it i wish there was though Super Team Games, another power pad game. This one's chewed up on the top. Wonderful Dance Aerobics, another power pad game. This is a freaking boxed Atari Lynx game. <laughs> Kung Food? I don't know anything about this. All right, at the bottom of this box was a console. I never would have expected this to be in here. Like, <laughs> I had one of these when I was a kid. It's truly terrible if you've never seen one before. I mean, maybe go look at some footage of it. Maybe don't. <laughs> but 
It's an Action Max. And this was a light gun game. You would like plug this into your TV and it used your VCR to play cassette tapes and you would like shoot at the screen. It didn't really change anything because it's just playing a VCR cassette tape. But it would like rack up your score or something. I never really could get it to work as a kid. Or I didn't understand how it worked. And I think my parents took it back to the store and returned it. But I've got another one now. And with it, we've got a... I don't even know what this is. It's like a red... Crap. I don't know. Does this go to the Action Max? And then like an old set of headphones? I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. But we have three games in here. Sonic Fury, and like I said, this is like a VHS cassette tape. <laughs> and you can see the back of it. I believe this is the one I had when I was a kid. Hydro Sub 2021. This I've never seen, but I can't believe we've already passed this date, man. This is two years ago. It was so far into the future when this came out. It's just time has passed us by. And then the rescue of Pops Ghostly. It's like a horror shooter. <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. I do have a VCR and I do have some CRT TVs. I guess I can play this. It also has the styrofoam with it, but no box. So I don't know, man. So far it's been so random. I don't even know how it's gonna get any, how it could get any weirder. <laughs> ah, crap. Next box. It's still like wrapped up. He like never really opened it. It's an NES. It's just an NES console. It's missing the door, but cool. There's some other stuff in here too. We got Excite Bike on the NES. And I haven't seen one of these in a long time. It's the Eliminator cleaning kit for the NES. You would like dump a bunch of harsh chemicals in here and then like jam this in and out of your NES to try to hopefully get it to work. <laughs> it wasn't that it was dirty, it was that the pins were bent. That's why the NES never worked. A couple of controllers in here, just good old NES controllers. A freaking manual? I wasn't expecting that. I don't know how much an NES goes for now. I don't really keep up with console prices. The last time I checked the price on an NES, I think it was $60. So it's probably above that now. Maybe even for one that's all chewed up. Next box. I said it couldn't get any more random and I was wrong. <laughs> it's a boxed Ouya controller. What the crap? And here's the console. It's an Ouya console. What the crap? What the crap? What is this? Is it another Ouya console? Are there two Ouya consoles in here? Is this the Kickstarter one? It says, thank you for believing. It's brand new. Like the plastic didn't even get taken off the console. It's got the freaking uh, supporters names engraved on the side of it. It says notch right there at the top. I don't even know what to say about this. Like, I don't even know. I know the Ouya doesn't work anymore. Like, the servers are down, but did people like figure out something cool to do with them? I don't even know what this is. A game stick? What is, what is this? Is this like Ouya or is it like some homebrew crap that like, that like they just have a bunch of like ROMs and like bootleg games on it? I don't know, it says designed in London. Holy crap, I forgot this existed. Back before Ouya and back before Google Stadia, there was another streaming platform. It was like 10 years before anything like this should have been possible and it like flopped. And it was called On Live. Holy crap, I forgot about this. It's brand new. It's brand new in the box. Look, it's still got the plastic on the controller. 
and on the console. It hasn't been peeled off, it hasn't been taken out of the box. That is bonkers, I don't even know what to say. I said it couldn't get any weirder, but it totally did. I don't even know what you do with this. Does this stuff have any value? Is it like, can you do anything with it? You guys are gonna have to let me know, man. I'm not a big like hardware guy and I don't really play any online games. So I'm kind of out of my element here. Next box. I don't even know what to say after that last one. That was, I never would expect to say. That was the last thing I would have ever expected to see. <laughs> this is a bunch of Atari 2600 stuff. Here's like the power supply and an AV cable. The freaking AV cable is built into the Atari. Did they like cut it off or something? It has the little adapter that allows you to connect it to your like coax, but I don't see a console in here. It's just a bunch of like accessories and games. The quick shot Atari stick. Anybody ever use this? I've never seen these before. There's two of them in here. Huh. I kind of hate the Atari joystick, but this feels pretty good. You got more leverage on it. There's like suction cups for the table. There's a normal Atari 2600 controller. These, are, these have never felt good. They never felt good. All right, let's go through these games. I love Atari 2600 stuff. And some of this I don't have. Firefighter, Biomagic, don't have it. Astro Blast, one of these weird ones, definitely have it. Missile Command, definitely have that one. Star Raiders, definitely have that one. Zerk, got it already. Barnstorming, have that one too. Pac-Man, everybody's got that one. Can't remember if I have this one or not. Sequest, this one I think I have. Space Jockey, classic Pitfall. I have this one boxed. Here's one I've never even seen or heard of before. Cosmic Creeps, that's cool. Here's kind of a semi-heavy hitter on the 2600. I do have this one, but this one I think is worth at least $50. It's Hero. This is Metal Jesus's favorite 2600 game. Laser Blast, Ice Hockey, got it. Defender, got it. Moon Patrol, definitely have it. Maze Craze, I think I've got it. A really chewed up copy of The Empire Strikes Back, definitely have this one. Cosmic Arc, already got it. E.T., no one should have it. Raiders of the Lost Ark, almost as bad as E.T. Boxing, Grand Prix, Video Pinball, Super Breakout, Checkers, don't have this one, probably don't want it. <laughs> Fishing Derby, a surprisingly good game. Star Master, Asteroids, Space Invaders, Chopper Command, Keystone Capers. This is one I went out of my way to get not that long ago. <laughs> of course I find it now. A chewed up copy of Combat, Stampede. Atari Starship? I've never seen this before. It looks like it has three different games. Starship, Warp Drive, and Lunar Lander. Good old River Raid. Lock and Chase. Another one of these weird cartridges. And look what we have here. I did not expect this to be in here. This is buried in the bottom of the box. It's the Atari 2600 Junior. I've never played the Junior. I've never even seen it before, man. I love the way that looks. We'll definitely be keeping that. That was a pretty sweet box. If you like old stuff, I mean, the Atari 2600 was before my time. You know, I, I mainly grew up when I was a kid in the 16-bit era when I think of video games, 16-bit games pop into my head. So, the Atari was before my time, but I did pick one up at a flea market when I was like in fifth grade. And I had a good time playing it. I played it all the flipping time. I just love games like of any kind. You still have fun with these. There are still Atari games out there that are like 10 out of 10 fun. You just have to like getting that mindset that like it's still fun to do old-fashioned things like ride a horse or you know drive a pickup truck through mud that stuff's still entertaining these old atari games are still fun if you get the right ones some of them totally suck but you say the same thing about new games except when you play an atari game you might know it sucks after five minutes whereas if you play a new game it might take you five hours <laughs> next box playing with power this is a book that talks about 17 classic NES games. Oh, it's like a walkthrough. It's like they're from a uh, Nintendo Power. That's cool. Playing with Super Power. These are all the games on the SNES Classic. I guess the walkthroughs for them, maybe? I don't know. Here's a certain guide by a certain writer, Pat Contry's Ultimate Nintendo Guide. I love this. I already have it. So it was a second copy, but this thing's unbelievable. Pat knocked it out of the park. I mean, his buddies helped him, but... This is Pat's brainchild. Uh, a 2004 issue of Game Pro. 
a 2005 issue of Game Pro. And recently I picked up a game at the Southeast Gaming Exchange I knew nothing about and it was called Beatdown Fists of Vengeance. And the advertisement for it is on the back of this magazine. How cool. A Game Pro from April 2005 and Electronic Gaming Monthly from 2004. All right, we got some plug and plays here. We got another one of these Pac-Man plug and plays. I already have this one, but these are really good as like bookends. This is one of those like generic NES minis that has like 620 games on it. I'm sure it's just absolutely terrible. I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> I don't even know what this is. The Retro Mini TV Games. I don't, what is this? Thumbs up from the UK. Relive hours of video game nostalgia with these mini TV games featuring 200 fun games. Simply connect to your TV to play. Includes 208 bit games. Are these like NES, like unlicensed NES ROMs? I don't know, we'll find out. It looks like a terribly small controller. I mean, look at that. I don't know. Let me, let, let me know if you guys want to see me play these like bootleg consoles. I don't know. I've never done that. Here's one of these Activision flashbacks. It has like 20 Atari games on it or so. It does have Hero and uh, Frostbite on it. Frostbite's one I need. I've been looking for a Frostbite for a long time, but I want the card, man. I don't want to use this. This says At Games Legends flashback. I don't know what this is. Genesis or is it Atari? I don't know. I don't know. It must be Genesis because it's got like Genesis, generic Genesis controllers. We got a Wii steering wheel with a Wii mode in it. This is the Retrobit NES console. Um, it does HDMI out. Is this any good? Like I said, I need a good way to capture NES gameplay footage. My NES is like just AV out. It looks like crap, but I do videos. Is this a decent one? Well, I mean, we can try it out. This is a Star Wars Clone Wars plug and play. I've never seen this before. It's got like thumb and trigger, but it doesn't, is it like gyroscopic or you just hold, I don't know what this is. I don't, I have no idea what this is. <laughs> Let me know. We got a bunch of like Wii accessories right out of the package. It's a Wii, it's a Nintendo Wii. He never, he never took it out of the box. I didn't see any Wii games. So, a bunch of random like plug-in plays. This is strange. Did I hit my three hundred dollars? If I, I feel like I'm well under three hundred dollars worth of stuff here. I don't know. Um, I don't know how much that like ooyah and all those things are worth. Next box. We got a generic three-in-one adapter for NES, SNES, and Genesis. Brand new in the box. An AV cable for the NES. Brand new in box by Retrobit. An NES controller and. Still in the wrap. It's another NES. So look at this. Woo. That is yellowed. Someone definitely smoked. <laughs> it's got like 80s smoke all over it. And there's one lone game down here. It's Rad Racer. This is Nintendo Power Issue 260. This is the 25th anniversary of the NES. November 2010. And this is the subscriber edition. I don't collect Nintendo Power stuff. This one's missing the dust jacket, but it's one I've always wanted to read and take a look at. It's 1001 video games to play before you die. I flipped through this before in a bookstore, but the last games are from like 2010. So it's easily 12 years old. This is a coffee table book from Bitmap Books it's called I'm Too Young to Die. And it's a first a guide to first person shooters from 1992 to 2002. This is the unofficial NES and Famicom compendium. And it has a lenticular cover on it. And it's in a slipcase. I mean, this looks nice. This is a nice book. Double Dragon here. From Bitmap Books once again. It features more than 170 classic games with articles on the leading developers, interviews, and key figures in the industry. That's pretty neat. Here's another one from Bitmap Books. This is the Commodore Amiga a Visual Compendium. Man, that's weird. Like the, the Amiga is a, I mean, it's a computer, but it's one I have never played. I have like little to no knowledge of it other than playing like ports of Amiga games on other systems. They always feel very weird and clunky. I know this is the Commodore 64 Compendium. Now this is cool. I do not own a Commodore 64 and I've wanted one. I just haven't found a good deal on it yet. 
And here's another one from Bitmap Books. This is the Atari 2600 and 7800 compendium. Here's another one. It's the unofficial SNES pixel book. So this is the definitive pixel art book for collectors, connoisseurs, and fans, with hundreds of exclusive images, screenshots, maps, and articles about the most beautiful video game classics of an unforgettable era. Copy of Retro Gamer Magazine. This is out of the UK. They kind of killed it. I remember seeing their magazine like in, in stores around the time this came out, and it was, they covered like new stuff and old stuff. Holy crap, look what I just saw. They're talking about Cave, like the shoot 'em up company that makes like Mushihime Sama and all those games I love. That's neat. The art of video games from Pac-Man to Mass Effect. And this one I don't think is necessarily video game based, but it's the uh, visceral, the art of Jason Edmiston. Like looks like he does a bunch of horror stuff. Mars Attacks. <laughs> oh man. There weren't that many games in there. A lot of consoles. You could see where he was like getting ready to get started collecting and then just kind of like spent a bunch of money and stopped. He's like, I want the coffee table books to, to display and let everybody know that I collect and I want to read and find out like what to get, I guess. And then uh, he bought a bunch of consoles and then just like didn't get any games for them. So anyway, how'd I do? I spent $300 on this, sight unseen. The only thing I really saw was like, I saw some of these books because they weren't in a box. I carried them. I saw the power pad. Did I do okay? I feel like $300 is a fair price for this. It's not like there's thousands of dollars here, but I didn't want to give it a shot. And I helped him out. He helped me out. So I have to go through this, figure out what I'm going to keep. Most of this stuff, like, I mean, a lot of that I'll keep. I'll definitely keep most of these books, if not all of them. Uh, and I'll keep anything I don't have. The rest of it, maybe I'll put it up for trade. We'll have to see. Anyway, guys, if you stayed around this long, I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. I would also like to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to all the channel members. You can see their names on the screen right now. If you'd like to get your name on the screen, consider hitting join down below or find me on Patreon. It's the same thing. You get access to all the videos early as well as member exclusive videos. You can also sponsor a segment of a video. So once again, guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate it and I'll catch you next time.